Traveling with dogs can be challenging, but it doesn't have to be impossible. I have taken and uh, survived road trips with my dogs that have lasted uh, over 20 days long and spanned over 5,000 miles. So here's a couple little tricks I've learned along the way. As you can see, my dogs are all excited right now. They're amped up as they should be. They're dogs and they've been seeing me pack, so they know what's coming. Rule number one is always tire your dogs out before you travel. Here's their back seat set up. I know it looks like a mess, but it's actually controlled chaos. I always put the bed underneath the hammock just in case one of them gets car sick. It comes with these seat belts too, so it's perfect for keeping them in place and safe. And then I always make sure to tighten the top too because Mowgli likes to climb over the front. This cage looks pretty sketchy, but I'll show you other angles of it because it's secured in as well. Here's the other side. You see another dog bed. I also stuff some of my belongings in the side. I usually put the stuff that they might need on the trip, whether it's dog bowls or treats right there, just because it's easy to grab. I find it's easier to travel with a new bag of food, so I got my Perina Beneful in there. And and here's a cage as well. You can see it's secured, not going anywhere. Don't recommend, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. As you can see, my little family is ready to go. They are watching me through the window, so they know the drill. Step on up, get strapped up, and it's time to roll. The next part's a little pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. Getting these dogs in the car is always an adventure in itself. Sometimes they wanna jump in, sometimes they don't. Sometimes I have the patience to wait for them, and sometimes I do not have that patience. Regardless, I get them all in, and as you can see, Mowgli is already in the front seat. This is where those seat belts come into play. <laughs> as you can see, she's hanging here. Try to jump out of the car. Uh, Milo and Moose know the deal, but Mowgli's just hanging here. She's safe. Don't have to worry about her running away. This is another nice angle of the cage. It's not hitting them or anything, and it can't go up, can't go down, so I know it's secured. Mr. Milo's ready for the ride as well. I definitely like to spoil my pups a bit, so I always throw some new toys in the back seat for them. On long drives, it goes a long way, and if they like it, it helps them feel entertained. This is a little trick I do here with my camera. It's great if you stop off a lot for sightseeing. As you can see, they're super comfortable in the back, loving life, and they're enjoying the views. You don't have to see the entire world, but you and your dogs can definitely see a lot. Travel safe, everyone.